Israel-Iran News Today Egyptian TV series on medieval assassin leader banned in Iran Iranian officials have said that a documentary series about the leader of a Muslim organization that has been associated with political killings contains many errors and was made with a biased perspective. Stranger, Iran reportedly due to historical distortions and a biased attitude, Iranian officials have banned an Egyptian TV series that portrayed a character from medieval Persia. The Assassins, or El Hashishin in Arabic, tells the tale of Hassan I Sabah, the contentious founder of a Shiite Muslim sect that split out in the 11th century and was notorious for brutal political killings. The 30 part documentary, which aired during the Holy Muslim month of Ramadan, which concluded earlier this month, chronicles the exploits of Sabah and his assassins as they worked out of mountain locations in northern and western Iran. The transmission of El Hashishin series is no longer permitted in Iran, stated Mehdi Siafai, chairman of Tehran's Audiovisual Media Regulatory Authority, despite the show's subsequent rise to prominence across the Middle East. It appears to have been developed with a skewed political perspective and its narrative of Islamic history includes many distortions, CFI was reported as saying by the official Erna News Agency, without providing any further details, citing specialists who claimed the show attempted to associate Iranians with the inception of terrorism, Erna stated that the show presents a misleading image of Iranians. Another news outlet, ISNA, criticized the show calling it a great example of how reality is modified and falsified. Literary works abound that draw inspiration from the infamous tales of Sabah and his medieval ordered, I in northern Iran, visitors can see the ruins of the Alamut Castle, the group's former home, the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, of Iran is reportedly enhancing its combat capabilities with the development of a new indigenous kamikaze drone equipped with smart loitering weapons. Iranian media channels stated on Sunday that a new domestic accomplishment, the name of which has not been disclosed just yet, will be utilized extensively in counter-ambush operations. Reports indicate that the Iranian UAV and loitering munition are reminiscent of the Russian-made Zala Lancet kamikaze drone. The purpose of a loitering munition, also called a suicide or kamikaze drone, is to linger in the vicinity of a target until it is located and then to crash into it in order to launch an assault. IRGC chief, Iranian drones powered by AI can intercept enemy ships thousands of miles away. Drones powered by artificial intelligence can target enemy ships thousands of kilometers away, according to the head of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC. Loitering munitions allow for more precise targeting due to the ability to alter the attack in flight or cancel it altogether, as well as faster reaction times when hidden targets surface for brief durations, all without deploying valuable platforms close to the target area. The Iranian Defense Ministry and the IRGC ground force have previously created the Sina loitering munition and the Marriage 521. Engineers and specialists in Iran's military have achieved tremendous strides in recent years toward producing a wide variety of indigenous equipment, allowing the military to function independently. Officials in Iran have repeatedly stated that the country will not hesitate to increase its military might, particularly its missile capability, for the express purpose of defense and deterrent, and that conversations regarding Iran's defense capabilities will never take place. Ayatollah Said Ali Khamenei, head of the Islamic Revolution, has repeatedly demanded that Iran strengthen its military.